Hey there, it's Zach from Engadget, and we are here at Boeing Field in Everett, Washington. Uh, this is the final assembly point for the 787 Dreamliner. You can see an Ethiopian Dreamliner right there, and there's uh, quite a few ANA Dreamliners right behind that one. Uh, you can see Japan Airlines off there in the distance. But over here, and actually if you can see right down there, the, uh, that's the tail of the Dreamlifter. And so that's the modified 747 that carries the fuselage of the Dreamliner uh, from, from points around the world. So it's, it's going off, uh, I assume, to, to make another pickup. Um, but what we're here for today is United's Dreamliner. And so this is United's version of the 787. Uh, it looks identical uh, from the exterior to, to all the other Dreamliners that we've seen. Um, but you'll notice that it has a custom livery. Uh, we have United there on the side, the uh, new tail logo, and then this custom swoosh, as they're calling it, this golden uh, line that kind of curves from the head to the tail. And so they're moving the air stairs into place and we will be able to board in, in just a few minutes. Um, but I want to give you a look from the outside as well. So here it is. This is the new United Dreamliner. All right, and here we are off the, the top of the air stairs, uh, about to go into the Dreamliner. So let's take a look. Okay, so we have this very uh, high ceiling uh, with, the, with the domes here and LED lighting. And the same feel really, that's what we saw in a a So we're gonna go ahead up to the front now. So this is the business first cabin. This is the Ford business first. And there are three rows and a two by two by two configuration. We'll come back and, and eat right here after, after the tour. So go ahead up to the Ford and then take a look at the cockpit. Uh, which is just through here. And so this is not something that we usually get to see. The clear panel down here to the cargo hold. So let's take a quick peek in the cockpit. Come on in. Hey guys, Come how in. are you? Very cool. So looks very similar to what we saw with a and <laughs> Which would make sense. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Exact same logo placement and everything. Pretty roomy in here. Yeah. All right, back out to business first. Ah, so the touch panel that we saw on ANAs, you can click through to that review to, to see it in action. Um, but you can dim the windows from here, you can activate the rainbow LED lighting, uh, all from this panel right here, which we won't do again. You can take a look at that review to see it in action. And up here we have a bar, a very small bar, I guess a, a serving area more than anything else. So we'll, we'll take a closer look at the seats shortly, but we're going to go right to the back of the cabin through the second business first cabin. So three more rows in a two by two by two configuration. Uh, no meals here, but if you are flying, you will get to take a, you know, a, more than a few bites to eat. And going on back, and so it, it's in the same configuration as on, uh, on the Continental, formerly Continental uh, 777s, but it doesn't look or, or feel any more cramped, really. Uh, the aisles feel plenty wide, but we were uh, told to wear booties, so I have these booties on here so we don't dirty up the carpet. Um, but it, it feels uh, really just as roomy as, as what you'd find on, on the Continental, uh, formerly Continental 777. And so the seats actually look identical uh, to the seats on, on the Continental 777. So they're quite, lar quite a bit larger um, than what you have on United's 777 where there's a two uh, by four by two configuration. So let's go back to economy. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? So these are the seats you'll want to be in if you're in economy. Uh, this is Economy yeah, plus. plus. Okay, so how many rows of Economy Plus are there? There are, it's rows 16 through 26. Okay. So there we go. We got 30, 36 inches of legroom here. 36. Oh, th sorry, 36 pitch. Right, right, right. Okay, 36 inches of pitch. Uh, plenty of space. We'll take a closer look in photos of these seats. Uh, for now, we're just going to go to the back of the aircraft and then work our way back up. Uh, LED lighting, no rainbow here on the ceiling, but uh, it feels like a, a definitely a higher ceiling. And so let's take a look in the overhead bins while we're here. So we don't have any luggage to try out, but these are 
enormous. I mean, they're they're the same size as on ANA's aircraft that we saw, and we have some photos there of luggage in the bins. Um, but you can store probably about five or so full-size suitcases uh, side to side here, and these are actually right 36 inches of pitch here in Economy Plus. And so here we're getting, this is economy, so uh, no more economy plus here, but we have 32 inches of pitch, so still a bit of, bit of room to stretch out. We have a galley here. Doesn't look like there's going to be any cooking going on, just storage. Uh, let's take a peek at the bathroom since we're over here. Ah, so no window in this bathroom, uh, like we have on the a, a Also, there is an automated seat, which may or may not open. Oh, that's the, the flushing mechanism. <laughs> Um, automated sinks, but there's no water supply currently. Um, so the bathroom is very similar. We don't have the the, uh, the bidet functionality like they have on a and I don't think North American passengers would know what to do with that. No window either here. And oh wow, okay, plenty of seat seat room, uh, leg room here rather. Uh, this is row 27, and so there's a lot of room. Uh, you could even put a sleeping bag down uh, or a suitcase. And, uh, and stretch out here, quite a bit of room. Uh, people will probably congregate here too, you know, when they're waiting for the bathroom, which is right in front, but uh, otherwise, a good area to be in. This is row 27. So 27, uh, that's A, B, and C. This is D, E, and F. And over there is L, K, and J. So if you have a choice of seats, these are the ones you wanna get. So let's continue on to the back. And these seats are a little bit different than in the uh, 777. They look like they have a bit more padding. And we'll, we'll try those out in a few minutes and, and get back to you. So going all the way back to the aft. And this is where you'll find that L-shaped galley. And so really a, a very big galley. A lot of space to, to cook food and, and prepare carts. Obviously without the carts in here, it feels a little bit roomier than it actually is. Or, or will be rather. Um, but still quite a bit of space. And so I'll back up to the exit here so that you can get a you know, full feel for the space. But uh, if you are a flight attendant, this is the galley that you will want to work in. And then we'll go back up. And the in-flight entertainment system, uh, it, it looks to be identical to what we have on the 777, on United's 777s, and the uh, 757, both formerly Continental planes. Uh, and that's a very solid in-flight entertainment system. So no complaints uh, there. We'll, we'll play with it in a few minutes. And then the business first in-flight entertainment look to be the same, uh, which I believe have 15.6 inch displays. It's a flight attendant position here. You can take a, a look at the in-flight entertainment booting up right there. Okay, so it's a Panasonic system. We see Japanese right there. This may not have been flashed with the uh, the United interface just yet, but let's take a look. So we have, uh, it's getting a little full now. Uh, some other journalists are, are popping on and then there's some United customers uh, and staff here as well. Um, so the cabin's gonna get a little bit busy, but uh, you've had a pretty solid look. There we go, that was a pretty cool view. All the displays popping up here on, uh, on United's 787 Dreamliner. Uh, before we go, we will take a look at the windows. Uh, this one looks like it has been dimmed a bit. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to push that button down there, and it's dimming very, very quickly. So this is a full bright window. Oh, actually these two windows look like they're linked. So let me brighten this one back up. Alright, so that one's coming back up. Oh, they're both, they're both together here. So these, these two windows in this rear row are linked together. So when I brighten up that one in the front, this one in the rear uh, comes up as well. So let me move up here, one row ahead, uh, so that we can get a feel for that. So I'm going to darken this all the way. And so dimming very quickly, I will give you a little bit of a side-by-side -side view here. And as you can see, it's getting dark. It takes, from my experience on the on the ANA aircraft, it takes about uh, you know 45 seconds or so to, to get completely dark. Um, but it's very cool that even when the window shade is dark, you can still see through it. And so definitely uh, a very cool way to dim the window. Let's see if our inflated entertainment system's up. Nope, not yet. 
All right, so that concludes our tour of United 787 Dreamliner. All right, so we have uh, one of two bonuses here. This is the crew rest area, and this is somewhere that you definitely won't uh, see when you're riding on the Dreamliner, but we do have access to it now, and we are gonna take a peek. And so, all covered up in plastic, nobody has slept here yet, but there are two full-size beds. And so this is right, the cockpit is right down there. And so adjacent to the cockpit, we have this, uh, this crew rest area. And these are beds, I mean, they're full-size beds. This is much, uh, much better than, than the sleep that you'll probably get downstairs in the business first cabin. And so a lot of space here, and we have a temperature selector. You can even set the temperature up here uh, to make it more comfortable as you see fit. Um, in the back, if you can see, uh, there's a vent there, along with some controls, a speaker so that you can hear announcements, LED lighting, fire extinguisher here, uh, some light switches here, and then there's a seat as well. So if someone wants to ride without a, uh, a window, this might be a good place for that, and that curtain. So all covered in plastic currently, um, but I imagine the, the experience sleeping in here would be a lot better than, than what you'll get downstairs. So we have one more treat for you coming right up.